Hi, I'm Ryan Poliniak, Customer Account Manager at Western Computer. Today, Ken May, our NAV Functional Consultant, will show document management in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. Thank you, Ryan. The area I'm going to be focusing on for this demo is a new screen called the Incoming Documents. So right in my role center, we can see an Incoming Documents section. And there's really a couple different ways to manage your incoming documents. So from within the Windows client is an area where we would want to scan our invoices into the system and then pick that from a file. If you guys were using the tablet or the phone client, there's also an option on that role center to be able to use your phone or your tablet's camera to automatically create an incoming document. So we'll start off with the most basic functionality, which is going to be creating an incoming document manually and manually turning that into an invoice. So once we click our incoming documents, I'm going to select the option on the ribbon to create from a file. And it's automatically going to open up a Windows Explorer page for me. So this is where you would scan your document into your computer. It doesn't need to be any kind of network location. It can just be a local location on your computer. And we'll go ahead and select the invoice that we would like to attach to our incoming document. Um, so that's going to open up a new record for me. Gives us a basic description and it shows me what the main attachment is. So that main attachment is now linked in NAV as a blob file. I can click on this hyperlink and it's going to go ahead and open up that purchase invoice for me automatically. So I can always see my scanned document in here as well. So the first thing we'd like to do is turn this into some sort of document in NAV. And we'll just do that manually. So if on my incoming document, I click Navigate, and I'll have an option to create a document manually. When I click that, you see the different types of documents we can create. So I could scan documents to create journal lines. I could create sales invoices and credit memos. I can also create purchase invoices and credit memos. So for this, we'll go ahead and we'll select a purchase invoice and say OK. So once I select that, now it's automatically going to open up a new purchase invoice for me. So this does not use the OCR service at all. This is a way for you to manually create documents from incoming files. So I can use that view of my PDF document to manually create this purchase invoice and just review the information on it. So we would manually put our vendor number in. We would manually pick that invoice number. And we would manually get our line information in there as well. So now some people may be saying, well, what benefit do I have to create this document manually if I'm just going to create it manually anyways? And if we look at the fact boxes here, we have a new fact box called incoming document. So one great thing that this does is our scanned document is going to follow through to all of the related documents in NAV. I've got an incoming document fact box on my purchase invoice screen. I can always view that file to view back to the original scan of my document as well. Okay. So we have our invoice here. I'm just going to go ahead and release that and we can post that to make it a posted purchase invoice. And that's going to automatically take me back to my incoming document screen with a little more information filled in. So I can see on my purchase invoice that I now have a record linked as well. So that record is a purchase invoice, and we can see that the status of that record is posted. We can see that that's a hyperlink as well. So if I click on that, it's going to take me directly into the posted purchase invoice. And we can see our fact box comes along with it. So in the posted history in NAV, we have easy access to our incoming document files and easy access to view any scans that we need to. Now we know we get a lot of related information that comes whenever we post a document in NAV. So when we post a purchase invoice, I'm going to get a GL entry. I'm going to get vendor ledger entries. I can show these related entries and see that even on my GL entries, my incoming document comes along with that. So I can view the PDF of this incoming document anywhere in the system that is related to that posted invoice, which makes it really good. If you have some total document loss, then we still have the files in the system, in the database for us, and easily retrievable. 
So that's going to be a standard manually create an incoming document, manually create this invoice. So OCR service makes that a little bit easier. We're not going to have to manually create these invoices. So I can start that off the same way I did with my manual. If I go to incoming documents and I'm going to create from a file again. So again, we'll select our invoice. But this time, instead of creating manually, up on the ribbon here, we have this automatic send to OCR service. So I can automatically send this invoice off to an OCR service to extrapolate the data from that file and send it back to me. So once I do that, we get some options here. The OCR status has been sent. We can see when I sent it, what user sent it. This also integrates into workflow as well, so we can automate some of this as well. We have to wait while the OCR service reads it and sends it back to us. Usually takes about 30 seconds, so this is kind of a great opportunity to show you what all is involved with the OCR setup. It's a very simple page. We can load the default URLs, and these will automatically come in here and link you to the OCR service. You can go to your sign up URL here and sign up for a free account. Once you sign up for a free account, they're going to send you back an email with this authorization key that you'll just need to copy and paste into this screen. Once you put that authorization key in there, you can test your connection and everything should connect successfully. So it really should take you about 10 minutes to set up and that's about it. So everything should be done with the Lexmark OCR service right now. So what I want to do is receive that file back from them. So once I've sent it, an option is available to receive the file. So I can click on receive. They did go ahead and receive the document. So we can see that a vendor name has been filled in here, a vendor invoice number has been filled in here, and the total amount from that invoice has automatically been filled in here as well. We can also see the OCR result is an XML, so it will send that XML file back to you as well, so you can see the base information that the OCR service got from you. And then, Invoices aren't always perfect, so sometimes there's going to be some data in there that you need to correct. So we do have an option in here to correct OCR data. So if there's anything that it got wrong, or if there's anything that it just didn't recognize from that service, you can fill these fields in here. And then you have the option to send this correction screen back to the OCR service, and it'll recognize that. So if it couldn't find the document date, and that really should be 11-19-2015, then I can send that feedback back to the OCR service and it's going to look for that value in the invoice I originally sent them and now the next time I import that it'll learn. So it's a way to teach the OCR service about your invoices and get better over time. So once I've got my OCR document back and the status is success, I can go ahead and say to create that document and that will create the purchase invoice for me. So now I have a purchase invoice linked to my incoming document. It is possible to create a workflow that as soon as we send to the OCR service, it's going to constantly check to receive and it's going to constantly check to create the document. So all we really have to do is hit one button and the workflow takes over and can automatically do the rest of that for us. So those are the two main things I wanted to show with the document management and then we'll pass it back to Ryan. That concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all latest video releases. Thanks for watching.